So I'm going to talk a little bit about the question that I think probably everyone up until this point is thinking to themselves. You're probably sitting in your chair or maybe you're in your living room and you're looking at the area or the full apartment that you're hoping to rent out, thinking to yourself, but it can't possibly be true that I could rent this out for a lot of money. And I'll be honest, that's what I thought at first too, and I think that's what a lot of Airbnb hosts think to themselves. There's no way that this is worth anything. Maybe it's not impressive to you because you live there. You're so used to it. It's, there's no novelty to it. Kind of have that same attitude about your town, too. Wherever you live, it's not worth seeing or paying lots of money to live here and have the experience I have every day. And I'm going to tell you that's probably wrong. I want to set expectations. I want people to be realistic about whether or not they can list their space. And I'm going to separate out this lecture into two parts. In the next section, we'll talk about realistically whether or not the space inside your home, if you're running a side apartment or your full apartment, whether or not that is something that is up to snuff compared to what's available. In this lecture, I'm going to talk more about whether or not you can qualify um, or how to qualify your city, your location, whether or not that is something that's going to allow you to do this and take advantage of the benefits of home sharing. I think that it's to, it's worth looking at this with a, a tinge of optimism. When I first started renting out, Airbnb was quite new. It's one of those things. It's, it's like a lot of the Silicon Valley crazy ideas that everyone says, that sounds strange. And then four to five years later, it's just a fact of life. That's another option, and the vast majority of people use it or have heard about it. I think we're kind of in a situation where the majority of people, whether or not they're tech savvy or not, uh, whether or not they're a in the millennial generation or not, they've heard about it. It's no longer an early adopter thing. My parents use it. Most people probably listening know people who use it or have used it, or maybe their parents have used it. It has bridged generations. So it's becoming more and more of an option everywhere. It's not just limited to the big cities anymore. I'm going to be honest. You have an advantage if you're in a big city. And the reason you have an advantage in a big city is that hotels are in a higher density. Prices have gone up. More of an opportunity for you to offer your space out. But it's the case now that mid-sized cities and even small cities, this is definitely something that's possible. And I'm going to help you through a little bit about how to think about this and whether or not to validate is it worth going through the effort of posting it. I'm going to tell you right now, most of the time, it's worth it. I think it's worth considering a little bit about what do you want out of this? When you were hearing me talk about my space, you're hearing uh, Sarah talk about her space, what did you think to yourself? Did you think, you know, I own my home, I'd love to rent out this side efficiency kind of room three times a week, get an extra 300 bucks a month? Or were you thinking, oh, that'd be fantastic. I'd love to travel for a month and just rent it out. And I'm going to tell you a little bit, uh, whether or not you, those options are available to you depends on the city. Because certain cities have more density. They have more bookers coming in and looking at the city. And so a more popular destination is going to have more bookers, which means that your, the possibility of renting out your space in the second scenario becomes more likely. You're always going to have the option of being able to rent it out sometimes to get some extra pocket money. That's always gonna be on the table. To illustrate my point, this is actually my hometown. And two years ago, I never would have thought that people use Airbnb to go to my hometown. 